sigma 0 is tau h <coughs> 1 half of sigma plus plus sigma minus and sigma 1 would be sigma 1 half of sigma plus minus sigma minus. Now what happens to the space and time derivatives? So in my new coordinates, in my new coordinates, uh, this is my light front time or light cone time and this is the corresponding longitudinal spatial component of sigma alpha. So <coughs> if I if I write uh, del plus this would be del over del sigma plus this is del tau over del sigma plus uh, del over del tau plus del sigma over del sigma plus del over del sigma and this would be now this is del tau over del sigma this would give me del tau over del sigma plus equal to one half so this is equal to one half del sigma over this is also this is also equal to one half so i have one half uh, del tau plus del sigma right however if i want to calculate del minus this is del over del sigma minus this is del tau over del sigma minus uh, del tau or del tau plus del sigma over del sigma minus del over del sigma now, but this is equal to one half del tau, del tau over del, no, del sigma minus, del tau over del sigma minus is equal to one half and del sigma over del minus minus one half del sigma over del sigma minus is minus one half so it's minus one half and therefore what i have is delta minus del sigma so i correspondingly have <coughs> del plus equal to this and del sigma minus is equal to this <coughs> I just want to first measure the result and I derive it two minutes later. Okay, that our equation of motion, for example, del tau square plus del sigma square x mu, that was our equation of motion for the volume. This is also equal to the inversion of x mu. Uh, let it del lambda, del lambda, x mu equal to 0 or del lambda, del lambda, x mu equal to 0. Now, so, uh, and you see without saying, then one is not talking about the light front coordinates or light cone coordinates. The other system has also its name. This is called instant form of dynamics. So, uh, Mr. Paul Dirac gave actually three different <coughs> schemes. One is called as the instant form quantization or instant form dynamics, which is what we all of us keep doing without referring to it all the time. So called equal time <coughs> quantization or equal time commutation relations or equal time quantities. In this scheme without 
almost ever mentioning, but we keep doing is the instant form of dynamics, which corresponds to which corresponds to this scheme. Del alpha is sigma, sigma alpha is sigma zero, sigma one. The usual. This is time, and this is the space coordinate. So we say this is uh, your tau, and this is sigma. Okay. And <coughs> for light front, we specifically keep saying light front. That's the only. But so you have two well-defined instant form dynamics and light front dynamics. Instant form quantization and light front quantization. And the third one is point form of dynamics, which I personally do not yet know. I have never tried to to understand it. But maybe one day I will look at it. But these two so far have always. Sufficed for me, and so I have been working with these two. And in general, light front dynamics has many many advantages over the instant form dynamics. But I am not purely committed only to light front uh, dynamics and light front quantization. I, in the first place, always try to understand a given theory in terms of the usual instant form dynamics, whatever theory it is, uh, whether it's a field theory or a string theory, gravity theory. Whatever theory, I first try to understand it in the instant form of dynamics, and then try to see what happens uh, if we go to the light front <coughs> dynamics. I remember last year or last to last year when we were here, uh, we got some idea, and uh, that why not we try to study Boson stars in light front dynamics, and without discussing it with Yuta, we were doing this calculation, and we found that eventually the Einstein equations. Uh, did not give us anything because some constant equal to constant. And uh, when we mentioned it to you, the she was smiling <laughs> because she knew immediately what what was the matter. She said that the, she said yeah, the boson stars they have spherical symmetry, and when you go to light front, you are you are uh, doing away with it. So, and then we realize, oh, okay. So you see, but nevertheless, we learned something. Some good involved mathematical exercise, but it was good. You calculate all the Christoffel symbols and all Riemanns and everything, and finally you put them back into your Einstein equation, and you discover that some constant equal to some constant, the same constant, and it doesn't give you new physics. Okay, but it was a good exercise. So, uh, all right. So here my point is that if we At the moment, I just want to say that this equation uh, could also be <coughs> delta <coughs> lambda delta lambda h mu. For example, I would write lambda now goes. So, if you like, to, for the beginner, lambda takes value plus and minus. There are only it's two dimensional thing, so no further component. So this becomes delta plus. Del plus x mu, okay, uh, plus del minus del minus x mu, and little bit later I will tell you what to do with it. So del plus then this would give me minus two del minus x mu plus del minus this del minus would give me minus two del plus x mu. And this would give me minus two del plus del minus x mu minus two del plus or del minus del plus x mu. So this is equal to minus four del plus del minus x mu, and this equal to zero. So solving this equation in the instant form of dynamics, the alternative route is just solve del plus del minus x mu equal to zero. So this is the uh, light front equation of motion. Here I have just made use of the fact del plus equal to minus two del minus, and del minus is minus two del plus. I will just now tell you. How to do it? Okay, so <coughs> then the main point that I want to make is 
that if we were to solve this, you see, before doing a, any exercise, we need to, we would love to know why are we doing this. Okay. We need, don't need to argument that d plus is minus 2d minus. We just have to calculate d plus times d minus and then we would have the same mm -hmm. without knowing this. Yeah. So I guess this is the I best agree. way. I, I agree. But I mean, <laughs> I, I would, I, I would, even now I would like to derive them because mm -hmm. they, they can derive. So basically it amounts to deriving the, uh, the, the metric tensor in the light front coordinates from the corresponding instant form coordinates okay and then we can do it so right now i am still sort of summarizing my plans what we want to do because it should be clear to us why are we doing it and what we really want to do what we want to achieve so but now once we are able to write this equation of motion in this form then you would immediately agree that if i have sigma plus sigma minus and then I could express x mu L which is only a function of sigma plus and x mu R which is only a function of sigma minus sigma plus is tau plus sigma and sigma minus 